Yo, <laughs> y'all are the shittiest fucking clan I know, bro. Fucking scums. Nigga yeah, dropped really a fucking class. jug and got shit on, my nigga. Fine. Nigga yeah, dropped a fucking class. jug and got shit on. Great clan, fucking boy. Fucking garbage yeah. fucks. Y'all were doubling our points when we joined and we just utterly shit on y'all. Great clan. Good fucking clan out here. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Master Vower here, coming at you. It's time to crack open that monster and get to it. Whoa. That was a lot of hostility we heard in that man's voice. That was actually my teammate, my random teammate. I've never played with him before in my life, but um, I kind of like style, and he <laughs> definitely made me laugh. I hope he made you guys laugh, too. Well, today's episode is going to be about the MP7, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck Claymores. Why you hate me? Whoa, freeze frame real fast. What the fuck? It just joined me into a game. It's me and my two teammates. It's 43 to 87. They're doubling our score. And they it appears to be a six man or a five man at least because they have all the same clan tag. This is just this is not what you want to see. This is not what you want to be joined into. But whatever. It's on the channel. You already know what happens. Obviously, I won this match. Let's get it. Let's get it. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the MP7 overpowered. A lot of people think you need the 50 round clip or the 60 round clip, but the default clip for this submachine gun is 40 bullets. 40 bullets, say it with me, 40 bullets. You can get three, four kills in 40 bullets. If you can't, it's not the gun's fault. Unfortunately, it is your fault. As you can see, I burned through three kids very easily and I still had ammo to spare. So if you're not able to do that, you gotta work on your gun skill first and you want to invest into attachments that are going to help your gun skill. Another thing I'm going to be teaching people today is how to submachine gun better. A lot of people think when you have a submachine gun or you have a shotgun or whatever close quarter weapon, you need to run straight at the enemy every single time or you just got to ambush them like crazy. Which is true, it works out a lot. But if you're playing better players or if you just want to do better on God and Wilson, in. Chill, 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 chill. All right. I'm gone, I'm gone. All right, it's gone too. Perfect. If you want to do better in your gunfights, you want to win more of your gunfights, you got to use everything that's at your disposal. I'm talking about audio here. I'm talking about visual. I hear footsteps, so I zoomed in already. I don't know if you noticed it on the prior kill as well, but while I was going up the stairs, I heard footsteps, so I zoomed in first. Me zooming in, it's gonna silence my footsteps. It's gonna do two things. One, I'm ready to kill. I'm ready to kill. I have a good idea where he's at. And I'm not stomping around the room like an elephant. So I can better hear their position. If you're running at top speed without dead silence, it's hard to hear other footsteps besides your own. So sometimes you gotta take a second, relax, try and figure out what's going on, and then make your move. Blim blau all over them. But the MP7, man, this gun is so good. It's definitely not not an MP5. It is not the meta. But I want to say at range, it definitely beats the MP5. I want to say. As long as that MP5 doesn't have like a reticle. If that MP5 has a reticle, with like a GI mini reflex, and they invested a lot into holding the recoil down on like a compensator and a Merc foregrip, that MP5 might still win. But this gun just has like zero recoil. It kills really fast up close. It has potential for long range kills as well. And the mobility, the way I have it set up, is just so fantastic. Just try and watch this game. You see me moving all across the whole map. I, I gotta cover the entire map distance in order to stop these kids from capturing the base on the opposite side of the map. Or to attempt, at least. Because, as you know, we joined this game at a deficit, but I still wanna win. It doesn't change anything. Uh, as you notice, I am using Specialist. I feel like with this gun, Specialist is going to help out. Primarily because this gun runs out of ammo very quickly. Not ammo in the clip necessarily, but ammo in the totality of the gun. Because you can only pick up maybe like 6-7 kills before all of your ammo is gone. That's not, that's not too convenient, to be honest. So you kind of need scavenger with this gun. And that's if you're being super accurate, six, seven kills. Oh my god, that's a juggernaut. Why? How? What? 
Bruh. They kidding me. Alright, so now I know there's a juggernaut at A. Pretty much what I have to do is I have to protect C and B. And if he moves to B, or if he moves to C, I gotta protect the other two. Because there's just... Going up against a juggernaut is just not a smart idea. I just... I, I would recommend letting the time run out. A lot of people try to kill me when I'm in my juggernauts. It never works out for them. So, just, just trust me. But Specialist... The first... How Specialist works is... Every two kills you get, it's gonna give you a new perk. Oh my god, it's a juggernaut, get out of here. As you can see, I have mine set up to scavenger, quick fix, and restock. After you get eight kills in a row, it's gonna give you all the perks. And the biggest perk it's gonna give you, which really isn't a perk in this game, so it doesn't make that much sense, is it's gonna give you sleight of hand. So your gun is gonna reload super fast, and you're just, you're an ultimate ninja warrior. It's crazy. You have tracker, you have, uh, Marksman, I forget it's called high alert. So your HUD will pulse yellow. Don't play more. Just totally saved my teammate's life. You're welcome. Um, the default three perks that I am running, I do feel you need it in most games, and I try to keep it on my class. Uh, I am using Ghost, Tune Up, and EOD. EOD saves your life countless amount of times. Anytime I don't have on EOD. It's, it's a constant reminder. Ooh, nice range for a self machine gun. I like that. It's a constant reminder as to why I need to keep EOD on. Like, it just, it's, it's hard to explain. It's gonna save your life a lot. And explosives is the easiest way to take out a good player. Because if you know you can't beat them in gun skill, you could just C4 them. Like this kid, I'm, yeah, he just C4 me. I was completely one shot. I already had bullets on him. If we were both full health, I definitely would have won. But he c 4 me already. I had, I had no health left. There's no way I could compete with him. So he won that gunfight. Thankfully, I wounded him enough. And my teammate took him out. And now we just locked up a dominate right at the end of the match. No way. 193 and we're behind. And we pull out a dominate. Let's go, baby. I got B, boys. I got B. Yeet. Get out of here. The reason why I put Scavenger at 2 kills is because you're going to need ammo so quickly, it's crazy. That's the only crutch to this gun, I want to say. It's definitely not an MP5, but it is fun to use, and I want to say it's in my top 6 guns, at least. At least, top 6 guns. It's not an M4, it's not a Kilo, it's not an MP5. It's not an MK2, but this gun is good. I'm normally the person throwing toxicity and hate around and inspiring some trash talk, but my teammate just did it for me. My random teammate just did it for me. I'm with it. I like this guy. Remind me to send him a friend of Christ. All right, all right. So I'm gonna show you guys another video on the NP7. I just changed the class around a little bit. All I did change was Merc foregrip and the Commando foregrip. In the first video, I had the Commando foregrip. In the second video, I had the Merc foregrip. Just to show that I have to work around with the class a lot, so you can kind of trust me on its configuration. I want to say the Commando foregrip is better. I don't know. If you hip fire a lot, a Merc foregrip might be better for you. But if we look at all the kills I get inside this game, 90% of the time I'm zoomed in. The Merc foregrip is going to take away aim down sight speed. Commando foregrip does not take away aim down sight speed. And it still gives you some recoil control. And the recoil on the gun is really s small and low, anyways. So I want to say Commando is definitely better. In this particular case, yep, as you know, I do prefer the Merc foregrip on my MP5 when we're playing like grind or other very intense small match. Oh, nice little level. Let's go, let's go. And I oop. We're spawning C. Yeah, we're spawning at C still. The biggest helper to anyone doing better at this game. There's going to be map awareness. You really want to figure out where your enemy's spawning and try to know 
if they're spawning there, what way are they faced? 90% of the time, when you spawn in and you're faced like at a certain direction, you're faced north, you're 90% likely to go north. Very few players will turn around and like go south. So you really want to try and memorize the spawns where you spawn at. Anytime you get spawn killed, you want to kind of see where they're at and you want to position yourself in that position next time. As you can see, I'm kind of holding down heaven. I'm holding down min map right now. I'm okay, you know. Push Try and get this specialist locked up. Oh, I'm weak. I'm weak. Nope, nope, nope. You're done. You're done. <laughs> My teammate's raging right now. As you can see, when I hear footsteps, I'm zoomed in already. This guy was stomping around the room like an elephant, and I made him pay for it. And then I got drop shotted by Jesus. Whoa. Sorry. Well, I just got turned on by a shotgun. Okay, let's lock up that doorway. Oh my god, it's camera. Oh, I'm good. So, to recap, MP7, ladies and gentlemen. It is overpowered if you have the correct attachments on it. You could argue the no stock attachment for the close quarters stock instead. That way you're not hurting your recoil. If you try them both like I have already, you're gonna realize that there really is no difference in the recoil. You're just gonna lose aim down sight speed by one, just by a little bit, not that much. The main thing you're gonna lose is mobility. Which, mobility with this gun is the whole reason why I love this gun. I feel like I have a small assault rifle that can move super fast. That's why I enjoy using this gun. I thoroughly enjoy using it. It might not be the best gun. It definitely is not. But I love using it. And it's very satisfying getting these headshot kills, baby. Woo! I don't know how much the damage on the headshots is, but it's got to be at least 33 to 35. So... I want to say three bullets to the head. Done with this gun. Let's go, baby. There's a veto up there. I'm not going to win that battle. I will solidify my base, though. Alright. It should be safe under this highway area. Oh, oh, I hear you. You're done. Fuck your plane. <laughs> oh. oh, you got snatched out of the air, buddy. Uh, yeah, stop sliding. Get your MP5 out of here. Oh, yeah, you're done. You deserve that for camping in a window. Who wants to smoke? Who wants to smoke? Who wants to smoke? Dead silence, you know. Oh, you already know. Dead silence is where we live, boys. This is where we live. More life. More life. Let's go. Let's get it. Gotta rush these kids. I'm gonna come up behind B. I'm gonna do some damage on these kids. Let's go here. Oh my god! Get the oh. 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 Let's go, let's go. Oh my god, my whole team died but me. That's crazy. Oh, no, no, no. Thank you. Can not push the B? can't believe we didn't get B, man. There was like four of us on it. That was so one shot, though. That was selfish. That was a selfish play. I'm sorry, guys. It's not like me. You. Hmm? Thought I heard something. Oh, he's in the corner. Enemy holds all objectives. Okay, we're getting dominated. Not cool. All right, I'm sure. Not cool. Can see for Come on, B. I'll take this shit. Making alpha. Stand by. Friendly care package. Who wants it? Who wants to smoke, baby? No. It's crazy. I'll just cap this. Money out here. Alright. Alright. They're trying to take A. Let's stay zoomed in. I can't really hear my tips. Let's go, baby. Alright, we got that specialist bonus now, boys. As you can see, my gun reloads super fast now. I have like, all the perks in the game. Now. So I can track her, HUD vision. Ooh, that was a nice distance kill. I like that. The main one is going to be the high alert, tracker, just having everything in general is going to be amazing. Let's 
go. Friendly precision air strike on the way. Let's go, baby. Get out of here. Oh no. Get out of here. Let's go, boy. We ain't dying. We ain't dying. Let's go. Oh my god. High alert. Saving my life. Slash dead silence. Push it out of there. Oh, that would have been nuts if I got that to the smoke. Friendly precision air it. Don't do it, don't do it. Don't do it, Anakin. I got the higher ground. Oh my god, bro. Don't fuck with me and I have to stuff with you. Enemy UAV overhead. They're on B, they're on B. No one? None of them pushed up? Yeah, he's on B. I find that super hard to believe. They were so hard pushed up on track there. One shot on B, one shot on B, one shot. Got him. Got him, B. Oh, and I just got sniped! What? Bruh. Losing A. Ugly. We lost A. We got tune up. We got dead silence. We still rocking. Charlie secure. Hopefully they spawn green building right here. And we're gonna pick them up. Maybe not. We must have spawned back a by the red bricks over here. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. We watched it. The sound's going in. Normally I die that way. Got you. Oh, I got you. Oh, he was ducking down in a corner. Nothing I can do about that. I'm just gonna flip and go to A. I fought valiantly though. Uh, I am using the ammo crate and dead silence. Just because this gun does run out of ammo quickly. If I get an ammo crate, if I don't need to pop my dead silence, it helps out. Also gives me an extra claymore. So, it's a pretty good mix up if you're gonna be trying out this MP7 class. Uh, spec for spec. Whoa! Okay, okay. I got you. Right, right. I got you. 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 Here, Wabbits. Oh, cool. I don't hear him anymore. Oh! Trusting myself. Quick fix. I love you. I pop, I I'm leaving an editor. Let's go to this house. Oh. Oh. The stupid rock launcher. Oh. Another group. Got him. Got him. Oh my god. RPGs. That's exactly why you need EOD. Yeah, I barely survived that. Without EOD, I was still kind of dead. Dead, yeah, dead. dead. P1 nice and shit. Hold that. Which one is he? Which one is he? Uh, somebody's gonna go top. Guarantee somebody's gonna go top. Oh, yeah, my bro just died up there. Top, top. No? Oh, there he is. Got him. Let's go, baby. You definitely died, my friends. Let's have another. Roger that. This has been a how to make the MP7 overpowered, my guys. I'm gonna do this how to series actually on all the weapons, but I do like to test it out thoroughly. I like to use it for like a week straight. I really want to see. What is the best combination? At least what works out for me. We're all gonna be different. One thing I have realized, the Akimbo snake shots, not all it's cracked out to be. Since I've gotten the snake shot, I wanna say it's much better on its own. So here's the attachments I have on the MP7, monolithic suppressor, the recon barrel. Both of those are gonna increase your range. We're gonna use the no stock. That's gonna give you movement speed and aim down sight speed, stipple grip tape, that's just for aim down sight speed. That's all we need. And the very last thing, commando foregrip. You can go commando or merc foregrip. 
I want to say that the Commando Foregrip is going to be your best bet though. Especially if you're a more advanced player, you're definitely going to be doing a lot more killing with the aim down sights. Anyways, thank you guys. This has been Devour. GG's. Devour out.